Okay guys, so if you received different controller than your old controller, uh, don't panic. You might think, wow, I received a totally different controller, different wires, what's going on? Okay, I will explain you why it's happened. So first of all, don't worry, your newer controller will work exactly the same way as your old one. It will have a few different plugs. And you will have to do a little bit of modification, but no big deal because it's a different factory. Unfortunately, uh, most likely that the old factory does not exist anymore. And that's why you received a new type of a controller. Or maybe it's the same factory. They just improved that controller. That's why it's different. But before you're going to do anything, remember that if you're not familiar with electrical, uh, don't do it. Ask somebody uh, that uh, no, has more knowledge than you and uh, everything has to be done with disconnected main battery power plug from your main uh, battery pack. Okay now, so I have three controllers, all of them different power, 500 watt, 800 watt and 1000 watt. I'm going to show you the difference on two of them that you don't get confused. And uh, let's start with the number one main difference. That would be the power plug. Your older controller had the white plug. The new one comes with a black plug. It's a different shape, not just a color. Unfortunately, you will have to cut the wires from your old one and reuse it to your new one. So you will have to cut your new one also and solder it this connection to this one. If you cannot do the soldering job, you can use uh, electrical connectors to connect red and red and black and black wires to, to, to hold them together and then wrap it with electrical tape. Okay, so you got that. Now, number two, the biggest difference between older controller and new controller would be that between all of the wires that you see, you're gonna have a throttle or accelerator handle plug, which is the four pin. Exactly same as coming from your accelerator handle. That clicks perfectly. But when you look at your new controller that you received, you don't see that plug. And you don't see any plugs with a four pin. So that's what probably confusing you how to connect that okay so I'm going to show you how to do that look for the three pin plug with the sticker says throttle because there is another one also three pin plug but it does not have any stickers that's for your alarm or remote shut off fob forget about that and then Look for the number four wire. It's going to be separate now. It's going to be separate, single wire. The factory made some kind of decision for safety or I don't know why they did that, but they separated number four wire that was supposed to be together on your older throttle handle uh, plug. So between all of the wires, if you spread them, look for the single wire, any color. In my case, it's a blue color. I'm going to separate the rest of the wires for you, for your convenience, that you don't get confused. So, and I'm going to work just on the two wires only. Okay, let's do this way. So, this is your throttle. Four wires. You see that? And on this one, I'm going to also separate this on the side. I'm going to show you how you going to reuse your old plug for your newer controller. So four wires and four wires, different colors and different plug. So this one, you're still going to use your old handle plug for your newer controller. You just have to use this plastic plug to the newer one. So let's go. So this, you, you will need the smallest, the thinnest flat screwdriver and you will have to remove those wires from this new plug 
by pushing that pin inside the, the top on the connector and pull it out each wire individually and then so this is the middle top that I was pushing inside down to make it unplugged because this top is, is, is holding this connector in place so let's see if the red one let's pull it, pull it out so we pulled out the red one and we're going to put in the same spot now remember I'm I'm showing you how to pull up one by one that you don't get confused which one is which one but if you pulled up all of them in the same time and you don't know where to connect it just look at your handle uh, plug and you're gonna see the red green black and yellow all of those wires so you're going to connect the new wires the same order as with your female plug so red in this corner because we have a red in this corner in this corner we have a green which is right there now about the color wires red will be exactly same as this red black will stay black right there on the bottom as you see now this yellow this is your positive wire that responsible and sending power to lights up your handle so yellow is a positive and this is your that separate wire that you're going to have in that separate single plug does not matter which color of this wire going to be in some cases i've seen that the factory install yellow wire already that you don't get confused so it can be blue or it can be yellow so this yellow will go into that spot and this gray which is a green will go into this spot so you're going to swap these four wires into the same order that will match your throttle plug and then it will work no problem at all i hope it was not confusing for you what i explained now few more plugs will have a different names on the plug but it will do exactly the same job for example on your old controller is going to say lock which is the ignition switch on your new controller it's going to say power switch which is exactly the same thing it's just a different name as i said before maybe different manufacturer or that's how they change the sticker now okay now brakes that's for your brake handles would be exactly the same brakes sometimes the new controllers if if that controller has been been made after may 2020 it will come with the plug brake lights and your atv your old controller never had the brake light so don't connect that plug this is your optional plug for your rear tail light unless you want to connect it yourself if you want to buy it separately but otherwise it will stay disconnected and uh, another interesting plug is going to say indicator you're going to have two of them with your new controller and you might think well what kind of indicator is that well your indicator is the same as the battery capacity which is the power so 36 volts coming out from those plugs to power up your headlight or your shifter indicator light the neutral and reverse little bulb by the steering handle all right so it's the same just a different name the rest of the plugs are exactly the same yellow and blue that goes to the shifter and uh, and this is your wires for the speed control switch exactly the same all right this is it this is the only difference don't worry it's going to work just follow my instruction thank you